Yo, Wagwan. Yeah, man, Mr. Garfield here. Right, we're gonna do a keep applied mathematics unit two question. All right, this is a past paper question actually. Okay, and we're focusing on module one, which is discrete mathematics. All right, and we're gonna look at this question here on logic. The question says by constructing the truth table for the proposition P and Q, which implies P or Q, right? We are to determine whether this proposition is a tautology or a contradiction, okay? All right, so let us look at it. We have the statements here. We have the statement here that we need to show if it is a, if it is a contradiction or a tautology, all right? So we need to ensure that we have P in our table, we have Q in our table, all right? And we must also have P and Q in our table. Okay, that's right here. And we should also have P or Q in the table, which is here. And we need the entire thing. All right, we need the entire thing here, which is P and Q implies P or Q. Okay, let's get into it. I've already set up a table for you. So let's do the solution. So for P, all right, once the once we don't have three propositions, all right, something like P, Q, and R, once we don't have that case, then it means that the column for P will be true, true, false, false. All right, so I'm using T for true. All right, I'm using T for true. T is for true and I'm using F for false, okay? You could also use one for true and zero for false, all right? You could do that as well. So for Q, all right, once you don't have three propositions, all right, it means that the column for Q is going to be true, false, true, false, okay? Now let us find P and Q. All right, now P and Q is true whenever both of the propositions P and Q are true, okay? So it means that since P and Q is true here, then it means we're gonna have true, we have true and false here, so it means that we're gonna have false, false and true here, so we're gonna have false, false and false here, so we're gonna have false, okay? So if you have P as true and Q as true, then it means that we're gonna have true in the column, okay? Once it is otherwise than that, all right, for example, if you have true and false or false and true or false and false, then it means that the result is going to be false. Okay, now for P or Q, it is true whenever P or Q is true. Okay, let's look at the first row here. We have true and true. So we're gonna have true here because at least one of them is true. Then we have true and false here. So it means that we're gonna have true here because at least one of them is true. Then we have false and true here. So we're gonna have true because at least one of them is true and false and false here. So it means that we're gonna have false. None of them is true, right? At least one of them must be true in order for P or Q to be true. Okay. Now the last column, we are to find P and Q implies P or Q, okay? So recall that if you have P implies Q, all right? It is false whenever P, whenever P is true, all right? And Q is false. So it is false whenever P is true and Q is false. Otherwise it is true, 
So with that being said, it means that P and Q implies P or Q is true whenever P and Q is true, all right, which implies, implies P or Q is false. So if P and Q is true, implies P or Q is false, it means that we're going to have false in this column. Otherwise, we're gonna have true. Okay, so let's look at it, these two columns here. So do we have true and then false? No, we don't. This is true, true, false, true, false, true, false, false. So we don't have true implies false, any at all. So it means that all my, all my truth values here are going to be true, okay? So once we don't have true implies false, otherwise it is going to be true. So it means that I'm gonna have true, 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 okay? So once you have all true in a case like this, it means that we have a tautology, okay? It means that the, the, the proposition is a tautology. If we had all false, it means that we would have a contradiction, okay? So, Let's look at it. All right, remember the question said to determine whether it is a tautology or a contradiction, it is a tautology. So we're gonna write a final statement here and say, therefore, P and Q implies P or Q is a tautology is a tautology since the last column, since the last column in the table above, in the table above is always true. Okay? So P and Q implies P or Q is a tautology because all of these values here are true, okay? So that is the solution to this past paper question on logic in the Cape Applied Mathematics Unit 2, Module 1, Discrete Mathematics question. All right, I am Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador in the University of Technology, Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. If this video was helpful for you, please ensure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also comment down below. All right? Thank you for joining.